This is hold on to your pants wood. Look at that. Hold up, before we get into this video, I want to make a special announcement, and that is the winner of our 5 million Thousands. subscriber. Thousand. 5,000, all right, it's five. 5 million subscriber giveaway that we, we ran in our previous video. And um, first of all, thank you so much to everybody who entered. We, have a, we had over 150 entries, which is crazy to me. There's so many beautiful stories from all over the world, um, people sharing their journey into acoustic guitar making. There are so many entries and so many great stories, in fact, that I've decided to do a couple of runner-up prizes as well. So we'll start with the runner-up prizes, which are gonna be um, a couple of European spruce tops from my personal stash. And the first winner is Lucas Hampel out in Germany. Congratulations to you, Lucas. You're gonna be winning a European spruce top. And David Blair out in Melbourne, Australia. I'm gonna be sending you some European spruce as well, my friend. But the winner of the grand prize, which is the Engelman spruce, the Pau Ferro, the Indian ebony, all the good stuff, is, big congratulations, to Lewis K. He's a local boy getting started in Luthery, and I couldn't be more thrilled to uh, send this uh, giant package of wood to you. So everyone, um, round of applause, and uh, please drop me a comment, or drop me an email, and I'll get this wood sent out to you. A S A P. Roll the tape. <laughs> All right, so we've got a ton of word here from Aaron. He's hooked a brother up, and maybe in the comments you could let us know which sets you want to see us do a more in-depth video in. <sighs> and we're back in the room. All right, so number one, we have got some Gaboon ebony, but you're thinking, why? But it's not black. Well, this is the sapwood. This is sapwood of Gaboon ebony. And it's, wow, that is so cool. It looks like albino ebony, but it's, um, it's amazing. Like under these lights, it's kind of like green, gray, creamy, yellow. Um, so this is a fingerboard blank. We've got a matching bridge blank. We've got some binding material there. So that is so cool. I love that. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of head plate material here too. It's like, almost like custard color. I really like that, that's so nice. All right, so Gaboon Ebony. This is um, a piece of Sinker Poplar. So we've, we've talked about Sinker woods and ancient woods uh, in the past. You know, when woods get uh, submerged for many hundreds and thousands of years, um, they start to react and uh, turn really beautiful, interesting colors. So this is a piece of um, Sinker Poplar that uh, Aaron has suggested that we cut, cut up and use for colorful purflings, which I think is really cool. I'm just gonna run through these and, um, and you, can, you can kind of let me know which you'd like to hear more about um, in the comments. We'll do a kind of deep dive. This is canary wood. Again, I've not, uh, I've not, wow, well, look at that. That is so cool. That is amazing. These lights, I feel like everyone should look at wood under video lights because um, there's so many, that's just like a rainbow. There's so many cool different colors going on here. Wow. That's got a great sound to it. Canary wood. Okay, what's number five? Number five is figured Florida to Zalam, Caribbean walnut. Sibiku, I believe, is another name for it. I've built a guitar out of Tazalan before. Very, very similar to kind of Koa. It looks like walnut. It's got the kind of walnut grain to it. Um, this is, yeah, that is so lovely. I'm really into that. Delicious. Kind of koa -y sound. Woo! Really, really nice. Um, so Aaron is, um, Aaron is a wood nut, just like me. He, he's worked in sawmills for many years. Um, he's a furniture maker uh, and just all round legendary guy. Um, this is um, number nine, it's some Sinker Sycamore. So um, this is American Sycamore, what we, I guess, would call plain, like London plain. Um, so not, not Acer Pseudoplatinus, um, as we would know in the UK. This is American Sycamore, wow. And again, this is a sinker. So this has gone this beautiful kind of peachy pink. 
uh, orangey, beautiful. Wow, look at that. This tree must have been absolutely huge because this is quartz on all the way to the edge and we've got the beautiful um, silking. Cool sound to it too. This, this one here, number seven, this is, a, this is a set that I've been really keen to have a look at. This is some Osage Orange. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see why it gets that name. But this is also spalted too. So you can see that it's got this kind of really kind of cool discoloration. This yellow is so vibrant and incredible sound too. Osage orange um, was, a, was a wood that Irvin Samoji used to talk about all the time during our, our apprenticeship, my apprenticeship, uh, as a wood that he really liked um, as an alternative to kind of the rosewood family. Um, and I can see why, that is super cool. That is gonna make a really striking guitar. I'm really excited to work with that. What else we got here? All right, number six, Pig Nut Hickory. Don't even know what that is. But this is a domestic, a US domestic. That's cool, that's got some interesting, that's got an interesting look to it. Pignut Hickory. This, this is just so interesting, seeing species that I've just never even heard of before, handling them. And uh, what else we got, what's number this? This is number eight, this is some Sinker Pecan, Pecan. Um, this apparently grows like crazy near where uh, Aaron lives. And it has, it has a great sound. It's kind of got like an English walnut look to it. And it looks almost like there's a little bit of figure in there too. Some kind of like bees wing, a little bit of curl. That's cool, I like that. That's gonna be, that's an interesting one. Wow, what's this? Number three is some spalted pecan. And this reminds me of something like spalted tamarind. It's got those kind of, uh, that's really pretty. It's got some of that kind of uh, creamy um, blue marbling with um, some black in there as well. Like you'll see, you might be familiar with uh, spotted maple. There's even some wormholes in there as well. That's super cool. I really like that. Number one here, or is that number 10, is, this is a Gaboon Ebony um, back set. This is so wild to me. It really is like albino ebony. Like ebony that's just had all of the black washed out of it, but the grain and everything else is, it's total, wow. This is so, Holy shit. That sounds amazing. I love that. Wow, okay, all right, this, we need to do some more investigation into, uh, into uh, Gaboon Ebony Sapwood. All right, so that's box one, and I'm gonna set this to one side. All right, in box number two, We've got some special stuff in here. Something a little bit more exotic. I know there's something in here that is gonna blow my socks off. And you know, socks are overrated, so I'm happy to have them blown off. This is, uh, yeah, there's so many. Like if you're, if you're a wood nerd, if you're a guitar, like all guitar makers are wood nerds to, to some degree. You go into any guitar maker's shop and, and there's just more wood than, than you, could, you could ever build guitars with in your entire life. You know, we just can't help but hoard this stuff. Incidentally, Aaron's done a good video on his YouTube channel, which you should go check out, um, about the justifications uh, into, into wood hoarding. And, uh, oh, yes, look at this. All right, all right, wow, woo! Number 15, this is some th three-year-old Amazon Rosewood but this is super dark. Amazon Rosewood is, um, is an interesting one. Like this, this kind of looks like a cross between Indian Rosewood and African Blackwood. I have some Amazon Rosewood, which is, um, which is really quite light. But this is, look at that, it's so dark. 
super dense, almost like, uh, almost looks like cataloge. That is so cool. Wow. Come on. That is like plate glass. Woo! Super dense. It really does look like African blackwood to me. I mean, it, it's not, but it, it has that kind of look to it. Kind of like African blackwood if you turn the brightness up. All right, what's this? Number 16, spalted red slash soft maple. Okay. I don't know what the botanical name for, for this is, but I, I will sure find out. Oh, that is so, look at that. That is so pretty. That is so nice, I love that. There's so much going on there. Really nicely quarter sawn. We've got loads of medullary, um, that kind of QR code figure that I, I like to kind of call it that. And loads of ripply goodness in there too. Some beautiful color and some really nice light spalting that just starts to turn things kind of greeny gray. That is beautiful. Hello, what's this? This is some female Coca Bolo. So I didn't know this, or I wasn't super aware of this, but Coca Bolo trees are either male or female, and the the look of them is very very different depending on the I guess the gender, the sex of the of the tree. This is this is so so vibrantly rust. This is like iron oxide on crack. Like, look at that. That is wild. That is beautiful. Yeah, I know. Woo! I know Aaron had a really hard time sawing this. I can see there's, there's still some dust on here. This is, um, that, yeah. man, that is cool. I've built, I've only built with Coca Bolo once before you gotta be really, really careful with it. You know, those resins are in there for a reason. They're to, to prevent um, or to, to protect the tree against infestation. So, you know, you gotta be a bit careful with those. Mask up, get your ventilation sorted. Um, that is gonna be, that is gonna be nice. This looks to be some more of the, the kind of mapley red elm. Okay, and then again, I don't have the botanical name for this, but it looks very, very different to the elm that I'm familiar with. Um, but I, I guess actually not so much. Um, the color is, is very reminiscent of, of English elm. Again, some lovely medullary. Interesting. I'm keen to research more into that. What is this? Look at that, that is pretty. Number 11. Okay, this is interesting, this is cool. This is Indian Rosewood from Arizona. That's right. Indian Rosewood, this is Dalberga Sisu. There are two, two species of Indian Rosewood. You've got the Latifolia and you've got Sisu. This, I've not handled Sisu before. I actually don't know how this compares to uh, Indian Rosewood Dalberga Sisu that's actually grown in India. Um, but this is, this is grown in Arizona. And uh, I know that a lot of rosewoods are, are beginning to be grown in parts of, uh, of the US. I know that um, we have African blackwood that has been grown in Florida, for example. So that is super cool. Certainly sounds very rosewoody. Yeah. All right. Woo! Okay. Okay. All right. I need to, I need to keep my powder dry here, but we've got... Um, this is number 12. This is some more sycamore. This looks very slightly different. It's more kind of peachy colored, but that's so beautiful. Again, with that kind of QR code medullary figure. Amazing, I love that. I feel like I'm getting high off of all this wood right now. Now this, this is hold on to your pants wood. Look at that. That is just, Redonkulonk. Isn't that something? That is like acid trip coca bolo. And I believe this is figured male coca bolo. Now I guess that's like either stump wood or crotch figure. I don't know what, but that is like somebody put edibles in the fridge and then 
didn't tell you and you went for a little midnight feast and you ate the brownies and then felt a little bit funny. You guys need to tell me, what is that? What are you seeing? This is like a Rorschach. Um, tell me, what, what do you see? What do you see when you look at this? I mean, I know what I see. That probably says more about me than it does about the wood. All right, okay, lastly, to bring us back down to earth, this is some more pecan. And uh, this is, yeah, this is nice. This is nice, this is soothing. This is calming pecan. I am just, I'm absolutely buzzing right now. I feel like I've eaten too many blue Smarties. And if that wasn't enough, Aaron is also a, a, an aspiring guitar maker. Um, so, he's also sent me something else. It's in this box. This is, this is special. I feel very honored and, and humbled to have this. This is Aaron's very first guitar. He sent it to me along with this timber because he wanted some feedback. He wanted me to kind of cast my eyes over this guitar and kind of tell him what I thought about it, which is, which is really like humbling and, and, and quite touching for me. Aaron's going to be sharing his journey on his YouTube channel. He's got a video called Finding My Voice where he talks about what he's going to be doing to, uh, <clears throat> to, to progress as a, as a guitar maker. But I just want to share, share this with you because it's, it's really cool. Um, and it features some of the woods that we've been talking about. So this is Aaron's first guitar. Um, and it's fucking rad, man. It's really cool. And it features um, a lot of the woods that we've been talking about uh, here just now. Um, we have some of this amazing Sinker Cypress. This is like 2000 years old. Came, it was uh, brought up from the bottom of the Ashley River in South Carolina. And uh, I have some of these sets that Aaron sent me and I'm so excited to work with it. It's really beautiful stuff. The tap tone is insane. Uh, and, and it just, you know, seeing a guitar with it under some finish, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be wild. I'm so excited. We have some of the persimmon, the, the Gaboon Ebony the, um, for the bridge, for the fingerboard. We have some of the uh, Florida Tazalam, the Sibiku. Uh, for the back and the sides and uh, yeah this is this is just really lovely thing um, to spend some time with and, and uh, to, to give Aaron some feedback on as he kind of continues his journey um, transitioning from furniture making much like I did uh, into the world of, of guitars and uh, and tone woods so make sure to go over to Aaron Lucas's um, uh, YouTube channel, give him a subscribe, uh, likes and all that kind of thing and follow his journey as he as he kind of uh, moves into the world of Luthery. So thank you to Aaron for sending me all of these goodies. I'm going to put a little thing in the description listing all the woods. Let us know which of these woods you want uh, us to do a deep dive on.